Hi guys, first tutorial, bear with me. I'm a beginner and yeah, I'm trying to stay out. Let's get jiggy, don't be judgmental because this is my first time and I don't do this. So, L'Oreal Marie and it is officially 11.53. Let's get started. So what I first like to do is start off with my eyebrows so i like to use a dark brown pencil and the name of it is maran maran and Brown and Maran by Wet and Wild. Yeah, eyeliner pencil. So we're gonna get into it and let's get started. Okay, so come on, stay up. I like to do that. Draw my line first. It's pretty self-explanatory. Once you get the hang of it, you will be a pro. But this is just how I do my makeup. You don't have to do your makeup like mine. But that's just how I do mine. Yep, just like that. I like it. I like a tail on the end to be nice and skinny on the ends. And I know they sisters, not twins, bitch. Okay, so go easy on them. Okay, so in the front, I don't really like to fill it in. I just do like. I just do like a really light brown in the front to kind of like give it that faded out look. Like an ash brown more like for in the front. See what I mean? Yeah, like I just use like an ash brown for the front of the brow. So yeah, you, you kind of get the gift. Yeah, just like, you know, strokes, light strokes in the front of your brow. Don't never like put big strokes in the front of your brow. Just do it real light, you know? You don't need it like to be super, 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 super dark. Yeah. Yeah. And that's how I like my brows. That's how I do my brows. You know? So now, so I told you I use a light brown and a dark brown. Okay? And I like, I gotta clean it up. And to clean it up, I use my concealer in the shade, what is this shade? This is in cont in night in cont in co nido in nido mega last by wet and wild. It's all day full coverage concealer and it is good. It's full coverage. Yeah, 
I was looking for the uh the it's medium honey medium honey medium honey It won't show, but it's by Wet and Wild. You can got you can get this at your local Walmart, and I just like to take a little bit and put it on my hand. Not a lot, just a little, because you don't need much. You don't need much. Put that back, and I use my little angled brush, and I start to conceal it. Let's get into it. Yeah, so I messed up a little bit. I'm going to go back in and fix it real quick. Okay. Yeah. And that's how we conceal. And like I said, you guys, I'm just doing this how I do my makeup. I am just a beginner. Just a beginner. I ain't no pro or nothing like that. I've been doing this shit since I was like a booty junior. So Okay. All right. So now that we like concealed our brows, I'll just take the concealer and put it in the middle too. Because I like the look. I like the look. I like the whole uh, faded out. Yeah, I like the whole faded out look, you know? So I'll just take my brush from, I got this from uh, Walgreens. I don't know the name of it, but it's a, just a little flat brush. And I blend it out, that little extra product. Again, that was golden honey that we applied 
to our brows. Golden honey. Yeah, so now you guys are gonna see all my secrets. So now that we're on our first, uh, now that we're on our first tutorial, we done moved up in the world. <laughs> we moved up in the world. So yeah, we moved up in the world. And I promise y'all, I'm gonna get some better lighting for sure. I'm gonna get some better lighting. But you know, it's my first video, so don't judge me. I'm not no like real pro YouTuber. I'm just doing this for fun, so people who want to do the makeup and who don't know how to do their brows it's okay to just go in at it and just do it because when i first started i didn't know so i didn't know when what i was doing when i first started but now you know i've been doing it a while so i feel like i'm com confident enough to get on here and like show y'all how I do it. So yeah, the brows are done. My next step that I like to go into would be, no, I do something else to my brows. Also, what I do to my brows, I like to take the uh, e.l.f. liner and darken them even darker. Cause I love a dark brow and a faded at the front. So yeah, I take my e.l.f. liner, concealer. It's charcoal and charcoal. And that's really black, charcoal. And I just, you know, line my brows up. I go over them. If I feel like, it depends on the mood and the setting, what I'm doing, where I'm going. If I wanna put that product on, but yeah, that's with the black eyeliner. And I know y'all probably like, oh, you done concealed. You already cleaned the brow up, but I'm real careful. I'm an expert. I've been doing this, so I'm not going to mess up. And if I do mess up, it's a little teeny tiny mistake, and I could go back in there with a little powder that left over and fix it. Like, so just, I'm a perfectionist. I like everything to be perfect. Cause if it's not, if I look at it, I see it and it bothers me. Yeah, I see things that people don't see. Okay, so yeah, now <laughs> the bras are officially done. Like, I'm not gonna do anything else to them. Yep, that's it for the bras. And that's how I do my brows. Just like that. Congratulations. 
if you're watching this, you have in your possession the one yeah, so. slow smoked, hand glazed, and spiral sliced. It takes us countless hours to achieve the perfect hand. Yeah, so you know, those are the bras. Step one. Remove the ham from the fridge and let it sit for 30 minutes. Sure, you can now, it up, on to the next way to go. If warming is desired, you can I like to slices in the oven. A cylinder microwave put my foundation on. Two. I use Again, black radiance. Perfect color. Use a sharp knife to it's oil-free liquid makeup. And you've got perfect, full of the I only the use powder food. unless I'm doing an all-day mm -hmm. kind of look. Mm -hmm. So this is deep amber. That's deep amber. And I got that from Walmart. Walmart did that to me. They always get me right. I've been using Black Radiance for a while now. So, like, if y'all want to, like, just send me something, go ahead and send that to my, uh, <laughs> send me something. Because <laughs> I've been using y'all products for a good little a good little mini now. And I would love to use y'all products and show some cute looks. So I just take this brush that I got from Walmart and I blend it out. I love fluffy brush, it don't matter. I'm very um, big on like cheap, going affordable. I like affordable stuff. I love affordable stuff that is good quality though. I can show y'all like more stuff on my channel. If you guys just give me some ideas, hit me up on my, my YouTube channel or my Facebook. It's L'Oreal Marie Clark. On my Facebook and my Instagram is Black Barbie. Follow me. Black Barbie. That's B L X C K dot B X R I E underscore. Follow me on my channel. You can see more of me and my craziness. I post on there sometimes. Sometimes late at night. Sometimes in the middle of the day. I post on there. Whenever I feel like I got the urge to clown around. And joke. The most important part about doing the makeup is blending, blending, getting that neck. Don't make sure you get that neck too, because you don't want to have no, and your ears. You don't want to have no uneven face, Lord. Lord Jesus. You're going to say, Lord, her face is different than her skin. Help her, Lord. Somebody help that shot. Yeah. So, that's the foundation, okay? The foundation. Once you mix, blend everything, you good. Okay, so everything is all blended up now. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my... I'm going with my eyeliner. I'm going to do a little liner today. Just a little line. That's it. A little thin line.
and I don't really wear lashes like that. Take your time with the eyeliner, y'all, because that's very hard to do. Getting that liner. Perfect is hard. You guys, I messed up, so I'm just like cleaning it up. Yeah, I'm just trying to clean it up. Yeah, clean it up. That's very hard to do, but you will get used to it once you start, keep doing it, you'll get used to it. So next, what I like to do is go back in there with my Wet n Wild Honey, Medium Honey, and I take my concealer. And I put it right under my eye. And right on my forehead. Cause that's why I like to be light at. I wanna focus on here and here. Maybe right there. Okay. And what you want to do is, I'm going to go in with this one. And I'm going to press it in there. Press it. In. Press it. Back and forth. Like a U. Especially under the eye, too. Get under the eye, that's most important. Definitely. Yep. Yep, so now that I did that, sometimes I like to let it sit a bit dry. Bake it, you know. 
me on. Cause it's a good look if you just let it like marinate in that skin. Press it. You want to press it in the skin. If you're not pressing it in the skin, then you're not really going to get that look like that you want to go for. Yeah, like I said, you know, the key is to blend, blend, blend everything out. Hope you like your cosmos with the side of drama. Blend everything. And now once you blend everything, I like to take my black radiance blush and coffee nair. Press powder. This gives you a matte finish and you, you just put it over your, I put it in my high cheek area. For the best effect. And by the top of my forehead. And I don't know, I had some blush, but I can't find it. Yeah, well, I can't find it. I had some pink blush, but I don't know where it is, so. This is gonna have to do for now. But I do have some of this. In the meantime, I could just use this like blush kind of color. These street pinks. I'm using like a pinkish color. And I just take my palette. It's a Profusion Matte palette. And I just got it from Walmart. And it has 24 shades on it. I use the fuck out of it. And I take that shade right there. And that shade name, I don't know it because it, it's so old. I just use the fuck out of it. And I take that orangey brownish color and I put it over my eyelid because I like nude kind of colors. Nude is the way to go for me. And I'm just gonna freshen up this little eyeliner right here. 
because sometimes the powder get on it. Sometimes the powder get on it and fade it out. And I take last but not least, I take my e.l.f. Everything I'm using is by e.l.f. E.l.f. Eyeliner, e.l.f. Concealer, e.l.f. Eye Pencil, e.l.f. Brushes. Or if it's not a Walmart brush or a brush from Walgreens, everything I'm using is by e.l.f. And the makeup is by Black Radiance. And the products are by e.l.f. And I don't wear eyeliner. I mean, uh, eyelashes, like talking about, unless I'm really in the mood. But yeah, guys, we've been on here for 31 minutes now. So. Thirty-one minutes we've been on here. Getting it. So far, so good. So far, so good. With me. Okay, I'm just a perfectionist. So I'm just fixing shit, not too much, adding no more product. And yeah, so that clearly just wraps up this video. Um, yeah, that's my everyday look. Everyday look, and that is the makeup tutorial. And you guys have a blessed, blessed day. And I hope you like this look and just recreate it and sh or just sh make a video and show us your everyday look challenge yourself and let everyone see your creativity okay somebody might could learn from you you hear me somebody might could so and i would like y'all to give me feedback and let me know what kind of videos y'all would like to see whether it be duis or anything i'm about to start doing that kind of things and that sort so yeah stay tuned follow like comment subscribe share follow me on all my social media platforms and i love y'all and thank you thank you thank you so much for watching my video bye